Uh, this message is directed straight to Kyle, the owner and creator of One Wheel and Future Motion. It does suck what's going on in your company, I agree. I think a lot of people agree. But the one thing that almost everyone can agree about, your company does not treat us great at all. We saw this coming before you did because of how many people we know getting left in the dust. Me personally, you don't do us right, man. We had your back before you even needed to call us and make videos asking us to have your back. You know the reason why you're making the videos now? Because you didn't have our back. It's catching up to you, man. Seriously. This machine is amazing. We love it. We're a family over your dream that manifested into reality. No, we're in your dream. Did you ever think about us, I guess? I really hope that everything works out in the long run, but I really hope it works out because you helped us out. It can only get worse before it can get better. You need to take care of us, man. This is personally to you. Straight up. You let us down, man. I have a one wheel I sent back eight times. Technically nine. Because it was supposed to be refunded. When I sent it in, you guys didn't want to refund it then. I still have it all in emails. Technically, I can get a lawyer and sue you guys. I don't really want to go that route. I'm really hoping that you just take care of us. Because we already took care of you and you already got our money. Just remember, you came up with a one wheel. You might have invented it. But it's our money that made your company where it's at now. It's our money that made it flourish. Because you put out something cool, we backed it up, we bought it. We convinced friends to buy them. We convinced other people, we made videos. You're not taking care of us, man. You're letting us down bad. And it sucks, dude. It sucks really bad because you don't care about us. I was violently thrown off my board, twice hospitalized, had to get a cortisone shot in my spine. I'm uh, all the way up my neck, all the way into my lower back because of your product that you sent back to me eight times telling me you can't reduplicate the problem. That's unacceptable. That's completely unacceptable. Then the excuse you gave me was is that it's my cachet. I've talked to probably about 50 other people that sold or owned shops that sell one wheels and probably about 100 other people, probably even more than that. They've never heard that excuse. They think it's fictitious. And they think it's just something you guys told us or me personally to just get me to be way laid off of like the fact that you guys don't want to own up to giving me my refund on my board, which I do. So that means you take no consideration for my personal safety. If you're doing it to me, you're doing it to other people. You don't realize we had your back before you even asked us to. You don't realize the community and the family, dude, that is behind you. You don't get that. You neglected us. We're not neglecting you. You you, you really do us wrong. You Just think about it. We could die on this product. If we send in a board and we say that there's an issue or we had an issue, it doesn't matter if you cannot replicate it. You have to take us on our word. I don't think anybody's just going to lie for no reason about something they bought and try to get a new one. Not their money back. Get a new one. Because it is running wrong and their safety is, a, is an issue. Think about that, man. Before you get all these people you paid or all these people that you kick down boards to. Because I see a lot of people you kick down boards to. It's almost like the help of Honda guys. I had a Honda. I was having issues taking my car back. I just happened to have almost a lemon. Thank God they finally fixed it. But I was watching commercials every day about them filling up other people's gas tanks that aren't even Honda customers. But yet they wouldn't even take care of me. I was a Honda customer. You're doing the same thing. Don't do this to us, man. You're hurting your own product by hurting us. And remember, we could really get physically hurt and die on this product. We take that in consideration, but you need to take into consideration. If somebody says they were jerked off their board, it doesn't matter what your diagnostic says. If they're riding recklessly, that's one thing. But if somebody keep, like me keeps on sending their boards eight times over two years, you're not hearing me. You're not taking me seriously. So how could I seriously take you as the same? Kyle, seriously, you need to do us right, bro. We helped start your company as well as you did. It was our money. It was people's money loaning you money to get this dream off the ground. And you know what? We're so happy it happened. But now it's our money that's making your company flourish. And you already got our money and you don't care. You need to start caring, bro. Bottom line. I would say respect the pushback, but I don't ride anymore. 